sasa imeainisha ni hoja zipi zitapewa kipaumbele katika meza ya mazungumzo wakati wa vikao vyake. Hii wiki hii kamati hiyo iliorodhesha ajenda tano zitakazoshirikishwa kwenye meza ya mazungumzo hayo ikiwa ni pamoja na kuteuliwa kwa makamishi na wapya wa tume ya uchaguzi nchini IEBC gharama ya maisha na kubuniwa kwa afisi ya kinara wa upinzani miongoni mwa hoja nyingine Sani Lugalia na habari hii kwa kina Kamati ya kitaifa ya mazungumzo Ijumaa ilikutana na kupelekea masuala muhimu katika ajenda ya mambo matano ilivyo na kiliwa baada ya kuwafikiana na kamati ya kiufundi kamati imekubali kushughulikia vipengee muhimu kuanzia na uchaguzi mambo ya kikatiba uigizaji wa fedha katika katiba uanzishwaji na utengenezaji wa ofisi za kitaifa na hatimaye uaminifu kwa vyama vya siasa na kulinda demokrasia ya vyama kwa orodha hiyo Kenyans understanding the urgency of that matter the issues to do with the outstanding constitutional issues and article 43 of the constitution the issue of the political parties uh, uh, management in the country and uh, the other issues as uh, were listed Ikiongozwa na kiongozi wa Waipa Kalonzo Musyoka na Kimani Ichungwa wa Kenya kwanza Kamati hiyo imekubali kukutana tena tarehe moja Septemba baada ya mchakato mkali wa ushirikishaji wa umma kama ilivyochapishwa na kuripotiwa hii leo katika vyombo vya habari. Also noticed uh, in today's uh, print media the advertisement for or the announcement for receipt of memoranda from uh, stakeholders and from Kenyans is already out and we do expect that in the next few days uh, Kenyans will be submitting their memoranda to the National Dialogue Committee. Our technical team and our secretariat will be working the whole of next week to allow them time to receive this memoranda from the members of the public as they also put together the issues as prioritized uh, for discussion by the National Dialogue Committee that will be reconvening again on the 11th of September that is next Monday but one